Good morning, my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Hugs, my friends. And happy new year. Happy to new beginnings. Smile to the new outlook in life, right? Okay, today's question is, new year thoughts, visions, and plans. Now, I've got three questions to answer, so I'm going to go with the first one, of course. Will you be trying anything new in 2016? What, why, when, and tell us. Okay, I plan to do a little bit more in the water. Um, I have had some setbacks with my knees, and um, I'm going to have to just really work uh, harder in the water. Um, Try not to um, touch the the bottom part of the pool too much because that is causing knee issues. Um, it's only like four feet tall. I mean, the water is only it's three feet, and in the middle it's four. So I'm already I'm only four eleven. So what I plan to do is a little bit more of the swimming of the laps and uh, not to damage my knees any more than they are. And I want to use weights more in the water. There's all types of weights, and I need to get some that are uh, that help me tone more. Uh, I plan to do a little bit more of uh, what I have already done in the house and uh, take a lot more steps than I've been doing here lately. Again, I've, I've had a setback with my knees, so I'm just trying to get those back in order so I can do more. Number two, when you are honest and truth, truthful talking with yourself, is there anything you can work to different or better as a weight loss patient in 2016? What, when, and tell us. Uh, smaller portions. I believe uh, because I'm in menopause, I'm over 50, and... Uh, I've already been told I really, you know, it really starts more in the kitchen than it does anywhere else. So uh, 80% of it is what you put in your mouth, right? So I'm really working on smaller portions and learning what, what my body likes and what my body doesn't like. I've done that. Uh, I'm almost 12 years out of weight loss surgery, and I've, I've learned a lot of good things about it. But uh, I'm going to trust the process more and uh, trust me to know my body, you know. Um, there's a lot of things that uh, I thought I could have, like nuts. Nuts are not my friend. There are a lot of, there's a lot of fat in nuts. I can have a few, but I need to know when to put them away, you know. Uh, I measure them out, but, you know, the, the, the little bit of rosemary in me that is uh, stubborn will say, oh, you can go add a little bit more to the one-fourth cup. Just get a little bit more. You'll be okay because, you know, they're so num, 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 num. And uh, I need to know. Stop. <laughs> no more. I was given a lot of walnuts this year, and they're so yummy, and they're very good for you. But uh, my body tends to hold on to that fat, so I need to be better about that. Number three, if you were to pick on an anchor word for you, and weight loss surgery life in 2016, what would it be? What does it signify for you? The one word would be to, you know, trust the process. I know that's more than one word, but I really, really believe that I need uh, to trust the process and not fret if I'm not moving the scale. But how do I feel on the inside, you know? I've done so much work on me uh, in the last 11 years uh, with weight loss surgery that every year I just want a little bit more, right? I want better for myself. But more than that, I want to feel good, right? I, I, I do. And I have to know that it's a process. And change takes time. You know, I'm not in the beginning of my weight loss surgery, right? I'm kind of floating somewhere. I don't know what you would call this because I'm almost a dozen years out. <laughs> so, you know, I have to trust in the outcome of, of where I am today and be happy and grateful that I got here, right? And rejoice in this body today. 
Um, as I look back on my life, I realize that every time I thought I was being rejected from something good, I was actually being redirected to something better. Every year, I try and think about that quote. I'm being redirected. In so many cases, as I uh, was a teacher and as I taught my children, my own children, you're always having to redirect them, right? Always making uh, making them understand. And if they don't understand, you redirect them, right? So uh, I've had to learn that with my own self. Um, at any given moment, you have the power to say, this is not how the story is going to end. At any moment, you can work harder on you, work better in the kitchen with you, and believe that the process is taking place. Believe it. You know, because a lot of times in, 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 in this life, we just want things quickly. And if it's not happening tomorrow, if it's not happening today, then we're not happy. You know, but you have to trust the process. I've done that. I've trust the process. And uh, you won't be successful at losing weight until you get over the idea of fast. Stop looking for quick fixes. Stop putting harmful chemicals in our body. Stop wasting your money on those magic pills. Stop starving yourself. Eat clean. Do the work and believe. Be patient and trust in the process. And believe me, we will all get there. I know that I have to be consistent. You know, I know that I have to trust in the process. And I know I have to believe in me. But I'm also going to motivate myself by believing acknowledging, recognizing, visualizing, and being kind, and not comparing myself to anyone, but holding the vision and trusting the process. I had a vision many years ago when I first started out at 487 pounds, and I would look at myself in the mirror, and I would see this body today. It wasn't a perfect body, and I knew I wasn't going to get to skinny. But it was enough to say, I had a vision, and I believed in the vision, and I believed in holding the vision tight. So every time I saw myself at 487, and then 447, and then 437, and then 300, and then 200, I began to finally believe in the vision that I had. And I, I stand here holding on to this vision. And maintenance, you know, I did a, I did a talk one time and I called it maintenance is hell. I called it maintenance is hell. But at that, at that particular time when I did that talk, I had uh, several people stand up next to me that were weighing the same as I was weighing. And we were all different. We all had different heights. We all had different shapes. And yet we were all in the same weight range. And so you have to trust the process that just because I'm a certain weight and you're the very same weight, we're not going to look the same. But we can trust that each one of us is, our, is beauty. You know, we're, we're all beautiful stones, you know, in the right perfect setting. This is where we belong. And until we trust ourselves, until we believe that about ourselves, then we've made it. And we can go further in maintenance. We can, we can const every year that we see each other, we can embrace that, embrace each other, and embrace the beauty in each other. Really work on, you know, the vision and really hold on to the maintaining of what, where you're at because it isn't easy. It's never going to be easy, you know. But you do have to trust that, you know, where you're at today, you're so much better than you were before, you know. I am so much better today than I was 
at 487 pounds. So just keep believing in you, keep trusting in you, and go out and be the best you that you can be and forget about the rest. Forget about the craziness. Happy New Year, my friends. And I hope I made some sense today. Like I always say, I, I do my best to express my feelings. And um, I love you all. And uh, go out and make the best year you can for you.